We're largely focused in Mexico as well as in Canada. We focus a lot on gold, but we also have silver and copper. And the thing we really like is shallow open pit. It doesn't take so much capital to find, and when you find it, it very quickly can show that it's something large. It creates the urgency for the great discoveries. Uh, the consequence of that is that when he was starting his own company, Riverside, I was privileged to be one of the early investors. And we've been shareholders and backers of Riverside, among others, ever since. Success in prospect generation has to do with the technical acumen of the management team and their commercial acumen. I was particularly attracted to the fact that, uh, you know, John Mark's pedigree and, and the pedigrees of his team were particularly well suited to the task at hand. I have always been interested in Mexican exploration in particular and large copper gold systems. John Mark, if my memory serves me well, went to the University of Arizona which pioneered most of the modern exploration technology for those types of deposits. And Jean-Marc, as a consequence of his Rolodex, has been able to assemble around him a very high, highly skilled team. His particular advantage, though, was that he looks at deal structure from the customer's point of view, because Jean-Marc used to represent BHP in these negotiations, and after that, represented Tex. Uh, interest in those negotiations. He understands something about, first of all, what the majors require in a joint venture and how to intelligently structure and price a joint venture so that it will be uh, A, fair to the Riverside shareholders, but also uh, in the interest of the customer. I, I think that um, that commercial skill set is something that's lacking in some of the prospect generators that uh, solely have great technical skills. One of the benefits that I think might be lost on, potentially on Riverside shareholders, is the fact that BHP too brings more than money. What BHP might bring to me is due diligence where they write a check as opposed to send me to a bill. Send me a bill, pardon me. But after that, if you assume that John Mark comes up with an interesting piece of terrain uh, and an interesting exploration idea, uh, BHP has literally hundreds of earth scientists in place. It's almost impossible that there's an assemblage of minerals somewhere in the world that somebody at BHP doesn't have familiarity with. And the fact that they pay the costs and add intellectual capital after the fact is a wonderful benefit that shareholders like myself enjoy from a company like Riverside that's able to joint venture with the largest and smartest mining companies in the world. Welcome to Riverside Resources. I'm John Mark Stoudy. I'd like to introduce you to the company and the value that we represent. Riverside Resources is a dedicated prospect generator here today to go through our presentation for the Sprott Resources Symposium forward-looking statement that we're excited about what we do and we always make sure that we use qualified people to do our business. Click on the action button and we'll send you a one ounce silver coin. Riverside's investment highlights. We're a highly experienced team focused in Canada and Mexico. We have a well cashed up position with over $2 million cash plus money coming from our junior equity portfolio. We have fewer than 65 million shares out, having operated for 13 years successfully. We've recently signed a major option agreement with Hoshield Mining. Over the next five years, having $8 million, and the total deal of well over $30 million is one of the key analyst steps, really great for Riverside. Also, we have strategic partnerships with the world's largest mining company, BHP, forwarding towards copper discoveries. We've recently signed the option agreement with Cecilia Project, and we're very excited to see drilling this year, looking to have catalysts for success. One of the great things we have is the spinning out of the Capitan Mining. Dividending to shareholders, shares of this company provide upside to all of our shareholders. And lastly, we're so excited about the growth we've been doing in Canada, developing a strong gold portfolio there. Riverside set to grow. We have a highly experienced team. Myself, a PhD, having worked in mineral exploration for over 30 years with other strong 
officers that have also worked in major companies such as BHP, Tech, Yamana, many key companies through our career. Riverside's tight share structure of fewer than 65 million shares are divided up among some key groups, including retail shareholders, Sprott Resource Group itself, a European shareholder base, and ourselves as management. Currently with our $2 million, we see that we have a strong portfolio and the investment highlight is a prospect generator. As that, we're diversified, working in multiple jurisdictions. We have multiple commodities going with a particularly focus on gold and silver. The major companies, Hoshield Mining and BHP, really open us up to great opportunities. And for those shareholders, while we're conserving our crash treasury, we're minimizing our spending, but we have catalysts coming. Four key catalysts for the next months include copper discoveries with BHP, Hoshield Mining moving ahead with the major exploration at Los Corrientes project, Cecilia, another large gold-silver project drilling in Mexico, and the shareholder spin-out. We're so excited about that and the development of Capitan Mining. Looking to our future, Riverside's working with the world's largest mining company, BHP, as our partner. This year, we have over $2 million being spent developing programs in Sonora, Mexico. The reason we work in Sonora, it's one of the major copper and one of the major mining districts of Mexico, in fact, of the world. Mexico has been a leader for over 500 years, and Sonora has been a leading state. Here, working with BHP, where they fully cover the costs, where we're able to develop projects that we hold, and we get payments along the way. There are three stages in this program. The first, project generation phase, then the project operation phase, where we're moving, and eventually the joint venture stage, where we'll go to. Riverside's so excited to work with BHP. Four ways the Riverside portfolio is ex progressing in the next six months include partner-funded drilling, including the Hoss Shield program and other things, the spin-out of Capitan Mining, getting expanded drilling and the resource expansion there really unlocks the value for us. The Canadian portfolio, where we're getting JFE funding, conserves our cash and moves ahead the portfolio of projects. And on the copper side, the acquisition and growth of other copper opportunities with BHP fully funding it. Those four different ways in the next four months that don't drain our treasury, but expand us and expose us to great opportunity. The Capitan Mining Pignoli spinout is one of the key things we have going. This spinout has been approved. So now in the next weeks, we'll actually be going public with the company Capitan Mining and our shareholders will get shares of this company. We'll then have quick drill results coming. Those catalysts will help to expand and develop a new resource that builds on the past work, progressing towards a preliminary economic assessment. What a great step for Riverside shareholders, a key reason that it's good to hold Riverside today. Expanding into Canada, Riverside has developed three major new projects. The reason we're working in Canada is it's a major good safe jurisdiction that works with for us also, we have the skills and these three projects, the Long Rose, Pachette and Oaks are three immediate opportunities that build on Ontario, where Ontario produces over 43% of all the gold production of Canada. So we're in the right jurisdictions, developing the right commodity, and we have the right team. That team has now put together these three projects, including this exciting belt in the Greenstone belt. We've also are working in Mexico. Riverside's known to be strong in Mexico. Part of that reason is we have a base in Hermosillo and we have large quality projects, including the Los Corrientes project is one of a number of projects that we have moving forward. Los Corrientes project, we're so excited. Now it's optioned to Hoss Shield. This year we'll have $700,000 of drilling and exploration work going into the ground. Over the next four years, we'll see additional funding. And then with the full five-year program, $8 million spent. The whole deal, if we go through all the way, is over $31 million, including potentially a $20 million payment to Riverside. We love this district. It's near other high-quality districts, like the Las Chispas, 
Mercedes, Santa Gertrudis. These are all mining areas immediately around us at Los Cuarentas. So the success we have here has immediately feed opportunities. And for us, we know we're in major districts that have half a billion to more than a billion dollar of other value in other companies. So for us to unlock this value, we're so excited to work with Hoshel. The Cecilia project is one of the really exciting projects for Riverside. The thing we like is the location. It's around other mines. We like that it's easily accessible. We like that we now have a partner going forward with a $750,000 work program. We also like the chance that we can leverage off of the work we've done in the past. Over the last two years, Riverside developed targets. Now we get to test them. It's a great time to be a Riverside shareholder mining. Asset drivers for Riverside. One of the key things is our own portfolio that we have. We have projects in Canada and in Mexico. We also have the Partner Funder Program with Los Cuarentas, BHP, and the Cecilia Project. And now the spin out as well. We have multiple different reasons why it's great to hold Riverside. Riverside, come visit our website. Please visit us at the booth here. Please give us a call. We'd love to meet you, talk to you, and please make sure to sign up for the silver coin as well. Thank you.